dear students today in this class we are going to learn the story of dharma meda which has been taken from the mahabharata this story is all about moral values let us see what moral values can we learn from this lesson the story of dharma vyada i'm going to read first two paragraphs listen to me carefully and afterwards i'll explain the first two paragraphs once upon a time they lived a person called kaushika he was proficient in the vedic law he wished to surpass everyone in learning so for seeking home and parents he went to forest and pursued his studies one day he was sitting under a tree studying the vedas he was disturbed by the loud twittering of a crane perched on a branch he glared at the bird which had disturbed him and at once the bird was reduced to ashes koshika was sorry that his wrath had caused the death of a bird but the realization of his astic power also pleased him and he felt proud so these are the first two paragraphs now let us uh, know meanings for uh, difficult words for example proficient proficient means learned surpass means beat okay children i am going to explain you the first two paragraphs once upon a time they lived a person called kaushika so once there lived a person by name kaushika he was proficient in the vedic law proficient means learned that means kaushika had great knowledge in vedic law that means kaushika had great knowledge in vedas he wished to surpass everyone in learning surpass means to beat he wanted to beat everyone in learning he wished that that means no one should be great in vedas than kaushika kaushika himself want to be great in vedic law so therefore what he did in order to pursue his studies he left his home parents and went to forest so in order to gain more and more knowledge in vedas in order to study vedas more and more in order to receive more knowledge what he did he left his parents as well as home and went to forest one day he was sitting under a tree studying the vedas so one day what happened in the forest he sat under a tree by sitting under a tree what he did he was learning vedas he was learning vedas at that time let's see what happened he was disturbed by the loud twittering of a crane perched on a branch so he sat under a tree and he was learning vedas at that time he was disturbed by the twittering of a crane so that crane 
a bird it was sat on the branch of that tree under which a kaushika was sat for learning vedas so that tree made some sound and that the sound disturbed the kaushika so what he did let's see now he glared at the bird which had disturbed him and at once the bird was reduced to reduced to ashes so what kaushika did kaushika who sat under the tree and was learning the class he glared at the bird glare means to see someone with anger great anger so kaushika saw the bird with anger anger so there by what happened the bird which disturbed him the tree which disturbed him it was reduced to ashes that means the glare of a kushika turned the bird into ashes so in this way the bird was died Kaushika was sorry that his wrath had caused the death of a bird, but Kaushika felt very bad for what had happened by him. He looked at the bird with anger. The bird <laughs> turned into ashes. So thereby, Kaushika felt sorry. On the other hand, but the realization of his aesthetic power also pleased him. and he felt proud on the other hand he recognized he realized his power is the power so therefore he felt very happy and he felt he was he felt the proud he felt the proud now third paragraph children he went to a town nearby his mind still dwelt on the incident of the bird he stood before a house and begged for alms crying loud bhavati bhikshan dehi give me some alms mother the mistress of the house was attending to her husband who had just come home so she took some time to bring the alms displayed Kaushika glared at her. The chaste lady said smilingly, "Kaushika, I am not a crane for your glare to burn me up." Her words startled Kaushika. How did this lady know that I killed the crane? He wondered. The woman understood that he was confounded. She said. you may have mastered the vedic law but you know not the mysteries of dharma there is one dharma vyada in the city of mithila you can learn the mysteries of dharma from him curious kaushika turned his steps towards mithila okay children in the third chapter of let's see what has happened so after the incident that has happened in the forest so one day he went to town nearby town but the incident that ha- which has happened in the forest it was there in his mind so when he went to a town nearby that incident that had happened in the forest it was going on in his mind continuously so afterwards what he did he stood before a house and begged for arms he went in front of a house he stood before a house and begged for arms he asked for food loudly therefore he said bhavati bhikshan dehi he asked for arms 
भवति भिक्षांदे ही गिव मी सम आर्म्स सम फूड ओ मदर द मिस्ट्रेस ऑफ द हाउस वाज अटेंडिंग टू हर हस्बैंड हु हैड जस्ट कम होम बट व्हाट हैपेंड द लेडी हु वाज इन द हाउस व्हाट शी वाज डूइंग शी वाज अटेंडिंग her husband who had come to house at the time so she took some time to bring the arms so as he, as the lady was serving food to her husband thereby the lady took some time to provide or to give arms to kaushika who stood before her house so he was not happy with this displeased kaushika glared at the lady delayed in giving arms to kaushika so thereby kaushika was displeased he was unhappy he was unhappy with what the lady did so therefore he glared at the lady so he saw the lady with anger now see what the lady says the chaste lady said smilingly koshika i am not a crane for your glare to burn me up koshika i am not the bird okay to burn me up as you burnt a bird in the forest by glaring at the bird so you can't me you can't burn me like that by glaring at me i'm not a crane to die so listening to these words of the lady kaushika was surprised he said how did this lady know that i killed the crane so kaushika was surprised to listen those words and he felt how this lady came to know that how i killed the crane in the forest he wondered he was surprised the woman understood that he was confounded the lady understood that kaushika was in the confusion she said you may have to have learned vedas you may have mastered the vedic lore okay kaushika you might have mastered the vedic lore you might have learned vedas you may have more knowledge in vedas but you know not the mysteries of dharma you may have a knowledge of vedas you might have mastered vedas but you don't know anything regarding the, the mysteries of dharma there is one dharma vyada in the city of mithila so there is a person by name dharma vyada in the city of mithila you can learn the mysteries of dharma from him koshika you go and meet dharma vyada in the city of mithila and you can learn the mysteries of dharma from dharma vyada curious koshika turned his steps towards mithila so listening to the words of listening to the words of that lady who delayed in giving the arms to koshika so koshika what he did is he moved towards her mithila to meet dharma vyada to know about the mysteries of dharma now fourth pair of children in mithila mithila he made his way to dharma vyada's shop it was main shop the vyada welcomed koshika warmly and said come in come in the chaste woman sent you didn't she the words of dharma vyada stunned koshika 
Hitherto Kaushika was full of consigned, imagining that he was the only learned man. But now he realized that it was not so. That morning the lady had referred to is killing the bird. And now this butcher selling meat was telling him that the lady had sent him. So he felt all these were great persons. With folded hands, he requested Dharma Vyada, Sir, reveal me the mysteries of Dharma. Dharma Vyada moved towards Mithila. So when we went to Mithila, there we saw meat shop in which Dharma Vyada was selling the meat. Dharma Vyada welcomed Kaushika warmly and said that come in, come in. So Dharmavyada asked Kaushika who came to Dharmavyada to come into the show and said that that chase lady has sent you. Isn't it or not? Dharmavyada asked Kaushika that the lady, the holy lady, has sent you to me. So when Kaushika heard these words from Dharmavata, again he was stunned and surprised to listen all such words. So there also what happened, that holy lady told about the bird which was killed by Kaushika by clearing at the bird and now Dharmavyada who was a butcher who was selling meat told that that holy lady has sent to him so he felt that all these two people that is that holy lady and Kaushika and Dharmavyada were great persons so therefore folding his hands like this and requested Dharmavyada to reveal the mysteries of Dharma. So Kaushika by folding hands like this, by doing Namaskara, okay, by doing Namaskara to Dharmavyada requested Dharmavyada to reveal, to reveal the mysteries of Dharma. Okay. Now, fifth paragraph. Dharmavada replied, Sir, you are well versed in Vedic lore. How can I enlighten you? I can only tell you about the path I follow. To engage oneself in one's inherent duty, to be truthful, to be patient and merciful, not to be elated in happiness or depressed in difficulties, to be engaged in prayer and tapas, to appreciate the good qualities in others, not to boost, to have bath in sacred rivers, to visit holy places and to serve our parents and the Guru who has bestow knowledge on us, this is Dharma. These are the mysteries of Dharma. So when Kaushika requested Dharmavada to tell about the mysteries of Dharma, now Dharmavada revealed the mysteries of Dharma okay, to Kaushika. What Dharmavada said? So Dharmavada addressed Kaushika as sir and told that you are well versed in a Vedic law. O Kaushika, you have great knowledge in a Vedas. How can I enlighten you? How can I enlighten you? Okay. I can only tell about the path I follow. No, no, I can't enlighten person like you who has very good knowledge 
great knowledge in Vedas and Vedic law. But I would like to tell the path I follow. So according to Dharmaraka, what he used to do is, what he used to follow is, he says that to engage oneself in one's inherent duty. So he says that one has to engage in his inherent duty. That the duty, the work that is being practiced by his parents has to be followed by son. So that was done by Dharmavada. He followed the inherent duty of his father. Second one, to be truthful. To be truthful. So Dharmavada was following truth. To be third one, to be patient and merciful. Third one, he says that one should be patient and merciful. And uh, next one, not to be elated in happiness or depressed in difficulties. We should not feel, okay, that we are great in the happiness and we should not come, come down. We should not become depressed in the difficulties. And to be engaged in prayer and tapas, one has to engage himself in prayer and tapas. And uh, to appreciate uh, good qualities in others. So always we have to appreciate uh, good qualities that are there in others. Not to boost, we should not feel proud of ourselves. And to take bath in sacred rivers, to visit holy places and to serve our parents and the Guru. So, according to Dharmavada, we should engage ourselves in prayer, tapas, we have to take part in holy rivers, we should uh, visit holy places, we should serve our parents as well as the Guru who has given knowledge to us. So, if we follow all these things, if we follow all these things, this is what is exactly meant by Dharma. This is what is Dharma. So these are the mysteries of a Dharma. So Dharmavada told Kaushika all the mystery, mysteries of a Dharma. Okay. Sixth paragraph, I follow the radiatory provision of selling meat, but I kill no animals. I not cheat in business. So far as I know, I have never uttered a lie. I have no enemies. More than all these, I serve my aged parents with devotion. Their blessings are my shield. So Dharmavada said that I follow my father's profession. What is that profession? Selling meat. But I don't kill any animal. If I kill animal, okay, that is not that I am really killing animals. It is uh, my profession. My what is my profession? Selling meat. I am a butcher. Therefore, I have to kill animal. It doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that I am really killing the animals. So I do my business. Okay. Next, I do not cheat in my business. I never cheat anybody in my business. I don't deceive people in my business. I have never uttered a lie. Till now, I have not said any lie. And I have no enemies. I don't have enemies. More than all this, I serve my aged parents. So all, all this, what I do every day, I serve my old age parents regularly. Their blessings are my shade. Okay? Their blessings are protecting me. Their blessings are just like shade to my life. So I do all these things. So all these are the mysteries of 
dharma. Seven turned off. He then took Koshika home and showed him his parents and prostrated before them. Koshika also bowed to the aged couple. He then bowed to Dharmavada and said, Sir, my arrogance evaporated today. I was conceited imagining that I am the only learned person. I have forsaken my aged parents and caused them grief. My eyes are open now. I now realize that Dharma is to serve my parents. I shall join them and make them happy. I will try to cultivate the virtues you told me about. He returned home. Thereafter, he spent his days in the service of his parents and in teaching others the Vedic law he had a master. So, now what Dharmavyada did? Dharmavyada took Kaushika to his house and showed his parents. And uh, by showing his parents, Dharmavyada okay, prostrated before them. And even Kaushika also did Namaskara, bowed to the aged couple. And Dharmavada said, Okay? He said, Kaushika said to Dharmavada that, So after seeing the parents of Dharmavada, Kaushika said to Dharmavada that, Now, Dharmavada, now, my arrogance has evaporated. Today, my arrogance has evaporated. I was imagining that I am only the learned person on this earth. I don't know about all these things, but I was feeling proud that I am the only learned person on this earth. And thereby what I did is, I left my parents. I left my parents. I neglected my parents. I caused a great grief to my parents. Now, my eyes are opened. Okay. Now, the Noyada Sorry, Kaushika has realized what mistake was done by him. He neglected his parents. Instead of serving them, he neglected them. So therefore he said that, my eyes are open now. Now, I realize that my dharma is to serve my parents. Now, I really believe that my, my work my duty is to serve my parents and that is my dharma. So what is my dharma? Kaushika asks. Says, Kaushika says that his dharma was to serve his parents. I shall join them and make them happy. Immediately I will go to my parents and I will keep my parents happy hereafter. And I try to cultivate good habits, virtues in my life and I would uh, spend my life in serving my parents. So thereafter what Kaushika did, he spent his days in the service of his uh, parents. So every day Kaushika used to serve his uh, parents when he came to know what is dharma meant by actually which was taught by dharma vyada and in teaching others the very glory had master he not only served his parents but also taught the very glory that was mastered by him because now dharma vyada realized kaushika has realized what mistake was done by him so after narrating this story, sage 
Mark and I have said it is that in every division of people there are enlightened souls who can guide even scholars and masters of a Vedic teachings. So this story, what you have learned now, is being narrated by Mark and I to Yudhishthira, and here Mark and I said Yudhishthira that in every division of people there are enlightened souls who can guide even scholars and masters of Vedic teachings. So Mark and I says that says to Yudhishthira that. Even common people can guide the great scholars. Okay, even now uh, they can uh, guide enlightened souls who have mastered the Vedic teachings. So this is all about uh, the story of uh, Dharmavyada. So my dear children, we need to follow all these uh, uh, things. That are being told by the Nuraya So we should never turn lie, we should uh, follow truth, we should be honest, we should always uh, give respect to our work, we should uh, uh, do our work regularly, and we should uh, respect our parents, we should respect our teachers, we should serve our uh, parents, and uh, by doing all these things, uh, really we can follow the path of. Uh, Dharma. So this is uh, the story of uh, Dharma Vyadha. Okay children, thank you. Thanks a lot. I am going to stop this lesson.